Okay, let's make a mini wall hanging. So I found this pattern on Pinterest. Um, I normally find all my patterns on Pinterest, but I do use bracelet book a lot too. So I happen to find this pattern on Pinterest and I'm like, wow, that looks really cute. It looks really Valentine's Day vibe or whatever. And I screenshotted it and I haven't made it because I've been working like crazy lately. As you guys know, or if any of you have seen my videos, I talk about how I work and work and work and work. So I know that Valentine's Day is on Monday and I really want to do this wall hanging. So I was doing this one, but... I really want to do this one so I can post it on Monday and I only have like what's today Thursday Friday Saturday like about three four days to post to do it to post it on Monday so I'm gonna try to finish this one um after I'm done with this one hopefully I finish this one um by tomorrow or today because it's not that big so that's the plan okay so I'm gonna print it out because I print all my patterns out before I make them and I'm going to print this out. Hopefully my printer's connected because sometimes she don't want to connect. Okay, there you go. So it should be coming out. Uh, my printer's a little on ink, but it should be coming out right now. And I'm pretty sure you can hear it in the background. Can you? Yeah, you can. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to wait till that prints out. And then I have to pick out some colors. And I have to decide what like color for my base I'm gonna use. So here are the dowels that I use. I'm gonna take one out. Okay, so here is the pattern right here. I'm assuming that this is the name of the person who actually made this pattern. Um, like I said, I found this on Pinterest, so I'm not too sure like who made it. I just screenshotted it and. Here she is. I know the pattern looks big on paper, but as soon as I start making it, it's not as big as it looks. So actually this pattern already has the colors that you're gonna need. So you're gonna need two, three, four, five colors minus the background. Um, and yeah, so now I'm gonna start picking out my colors and um, I have to see like what color I want my base to be. So I'm thinking more of like a, I don't know, like maybe like a dark red, like a maroon, or I can go with like pink, like not like a light pink, but like a mid pink. So I'm going to like choose out my colors right now and let's see what I go with. Okay, so, so far I am going for like the border of the heart right here. I think I'm gonna go with probably like this one. I feel like, I don't know, like, should I go with this one? It's kind of like a little darker than that one, but I mean, probably like this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. And then, um,. Which, actually, my mom gave me this, so I don't really know if it's DMC or not. Okay, so, um, but the number on it is 321. And then for the pink, I, I'm gonna go with probably this pink, or maybe, maybe this pink right here. Yeah, probably this pink right here. Um, I know it says Little Mermaid number 605. So, like, I did a Little Mermaid bracelet. And this is the color I use. And I put Little Mermaid. So, if I ever want to do it again, I know what color to pick. And not be like, oh, man, I forgot what pink. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and then black is, of course, it's black. So, and I actually need to buy more black. Because, girl, I am running out of black. And that is not okay. So, this is Elise for sure. This is DMC. I don't need like a lot, a lot, but. Oh my God, I literally am running out of black. Like this is all I have left. Oh my God, that means I have to order some online soon. I usually go like on Macari or eBay to do that. So now I need like gray and I'm thinking I'm gonna use this gray. I actually bought this gray recently and I think I actually bought it with this pattern in mind. So I bought it specifically for this little wall hanging that I wanted to do. 
Okay, and now I need like a mid pink. Like, or no, wait, like probably a lighter pink for like the, this, like the ear and this part. I actually think these two pinks are the same. Like, hold on. These two pinks are the same. And then this one's like really light. So I think for like the ear or whatever, I'm gonna use probably this one. You could tell that they're different. I don't know if you can tell on camera, can you? This one's a slight darker than this one right here. Okay, so now I'll pick that out. I have to get these two blacks just in case I run out. Seriously, I have to buy more black because, yeah. I, honestly, like, you guys want to know one of my future videos is to purchase five from five different flower. My, I don't know why I, like, messed it up. But, like, one of my future videos, two of my future videos, actually. One is to buy bracelets for my followers on Instagram. And the second one is to buy friendship, bracelet, friendship bracelet thread on Wish. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Anyways, um, for my background, I think I'm going to just go with white. So I'm going to stay true to this pattern and do exactly what it looks like on paper. I'm going to do it, you know, bring it to life type of thing. So for the background, I think I'm going to go with this one, which I think I... I think these two are the same, actually, when I'm mistaking these two whites, because if you look at this white, it's a slight yellower. This is not even like DMC, this is a Lee's. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. Okay, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Okay. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You guys wanna watch me do a little mini wall hanging? Let's get to it. Okay, I normally use a pencil, but I can't find one, so I'm gonna have to use this one. All right, so the first things first is I count like the little the little squared thingies. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26. 26 divided by two is what? You know, I really suck at math, so I honestly have no freaking clue. Um, okay, so 12 plus 12 is equals 24. What's 13 plus 13? 13 plus 13, six. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need 13 strings, 13 strings, 13 strings, and then 13 strings folded in half is gonna equal 26 strings. So this is an even even number. And yes, I suck at math because I just suck at math and I hate math. So I had to literally do that on paper right now because I suck at math. Anyways, um, so we're going to need 13 base strings. That's the first thing I do all the time. I don't want to adjust this pattern. I like how it looks because let's just say I do want to, I wanted to adjust it. I could just take one row off. Or I could just like literally add another row if I wanted to to make it 27, but I'm not gonna do that. So this pattern is good as, as it is. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. We could talk more about alphas in another video if you would like though, because um, I'm not like really good at alphas, like when it comes to making patterns, but I'm good at like reading them and stuff. So um, they're easy to read actually. It's like not even that hard. So, okay, so 26 strings for my base. Okay, so I have to pick out what color I want for my base, which I don't know if I have any. I have to take out my box. So I decided to go with this color for my base, although I do have this one right here already. And I don't know if I have any cut like a string like this already, do I? I don't think I do, but I'm gonna go with this color for my base. Um, I'm gonna just, you know, Take it off, whatever, and then I'm willing to cut it. So for like the base, you don't ever use it. Like you use it, of course, to knot on, but you don't ever use it for anything else but to knot onto it. Does that make any sense? I hope it does. So it's not like it's going to go anywhere or like you're not going to have to use it to like actually knot with it. So I don't like to cut a lot of string for my base because it's like a waste of string when you end up like cutting it off. And I have done that in the past a lot of times. So like I always try to measure it. So 
So I believe, uh, I believe like maybe five inches should be good, like this. I feel like that's even maybe a little too big. Probably like, cause I don't want to cut it too too short just in case, but I don't want to cut it too too long, cause it's just, it's literally a waste of string, cause you just I don't ever save my string unless it feel like it's really um necessary to save it because i don't use my scraps i don't ever like i just know that i'm not gonna do that so i just throw it away most of the time but i don't want to like cut so much off to the point where it's like you know and just have it there i don't know how to explain it so um okay so i feel like maybe i would say like Eight inches will be good for me, or not even five, because I feel like maybe that's a little too short. Probably like, let me make this a little shorter. Probably like seven, eight. I would cut it maybe like about 10 inches. I feel like that should be good enough because at the bottom I am gonna like use it to like finish the alpha off. I mean the wall hanging off. Well yeah the alpha. And I'm gonna do like these one ends. I actually made a video on how I end my wall hangings and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I feel like maybe 10 inches should be good. Okay so like that should be good enough. Like this. And then I'm just going to like cut the rest of it the same. Like I'm going to cut 12 more of these and then we're going to like begin. I'm going to begin like making the alpha, the little alpha wall hang. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see how it looks. Okay, so I cut all 13 strings, um, fold in half, so now there are 26 strings, and I'm going to put them on the dowel that I took out earlier, which is this one right here. Um, I'm going to cut this, so I'm going to just start off like putting it, put, putting the string like right here, and then as soon as I'm done putting all of them onto the dowel, I'm going to just like cut it, so... I'm gonna put all of them onto the dowel right now. If you don't know how to put them on the dowel, I actually have a video on how to start a like a wall hanging. Um, it's pretty easy actually. So I'm gonna just put mine onto the dowel right now. I usually like clip it onto something or I just hold it with both my hands and do it. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So this is me real time putting the strings onto the dowel. I usually meet the ends, like the ends have to meet, and then I put them onto the dowel. I'm actually just using both my hands to do this, um, and the dowel is pressing up against me <laughs> while I'm doing it. So yeah, um, I'm actually watching Attack on Titan right now, and I usually always watch something while I'm doing friendship bracelets or any type of project. I don't like to just sit there and watch nothing, um, or I just watch, I listen to some music most of the time. That's all I do. And um, oh, I'm so tired. Today's my day off, and I'm so happy, but then I have to go to work tomorrow, so it sucks. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like to actually, you know, I didn't want to like speed it all the way up. So I just wanted to like give you a little video on how it looks to actually, or why am I saying it like that? I mean, to show you what it looks like normal speed and not, I don't want, I didn't want to like fully put it on like a whole time lapse. 
I don't know what's wrong with me today, but yeah, my head is hurting so bad right now. It's been hurting for like the past few days and I feel like maybe it's because I'm not getting enough sleep. I honestly don't know. And I feel like I would consider myself a hypochondriac. So any little thing that happens to me, I feel like I'm dying. Um, I don't know why I'm like that and I always freak myself out and I really have to stop being like that because it's ridiculous at this point. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I wanted to mention that. It's crazy. But yeah, um, I my goal is to actually finish this today or tomorrow before I go to work because she needs to be done by Monday to be posted on Monday on my Instagram account. If you don't follow me, it's at by Brandy Ann. All right, last but not least, the last one. Okay, so I'm just going to put this one on and then I'm going to cut the dowel to the desired length. Okay, so this is how it looks already. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. So they're all folded in half. And they equal 26 strings on this little dowel. So I kind of just mess with the strings. I try to line them up really nice and neat. I like them to, I guess, look a certain way. So this is basically what I do. Make sure that they're not like too far apart, but not like too close either. So like that, they look good. So I leave some hanging on this side and then I kind of try to measure it. So these are the pliers that I have that I took from my mom's house. So I honestly, I'm pretty sure she got these like at Walmart or something. So I'm going to probably cut it maybe like this long. I honestly don't know if they're on the same size on both sides. But I try to like assume that they are, you know, I feel like the side is a little longer. Probably like this. Or should I just cut it a little longer to be safe? I don't know. I'm gonna cut it right here. Wait, am I even cutting? <laughs> Hold on. No, wait. <laughs> My bad. Okay, like right here. Okay, I did it. Alright. You have to use like strength to do that because. It like takes a lot of strength to cut it. All right, so I already cut it. I'm throwing pliers away. I don't throw this away. I just keep it. So just in case I'm like ready to do another one. All right, so here she is. This is what she looks like now. This side is kind of spiky because I cut it. Um, I usually like try to sand it down later. So I grab my pliers and I just mess with it to like take some of the wood, like shave some of the wood down. Yeah, pretty much just what it looks like. And now, I don't normally like, how do you say it? I don't normally like use this, so I put tape on both sides like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So what I realized is putting tape on both sides of the dowel and taping it down to my clipboard is what works best for me. I do mess with the strings a little bit as well. Make sure they're not too far apart, but not too close. So the first row is just one complete row of white knots and it's going to be 26 white knots because this wall hanging is 26 strings wide. And I'm not going to time lapse this first row. It's going to be like me real time knotting. So I think the first row was about eight minutes long. And that's, I feel like, I don't know how I feel about it. Is it really long for the first row? Is eight minutes for one row a long time? Like, I honestly don't know. I just do it and that's it. So, um, I was going to just talk about random things. If you're not interested, then you can just mute me or maybe like not watch my video. I don't know. I'm just talking about random things. I honestly don't know what to talk about. So, I was just going to talk about wall hangings. So, my first wall hanging I ever made was back in 2020. And I made a character called Seto Kaiba from, I think it's an anime called Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. I'm not sure if Yu-Gi-Oh is an anime, but it looks like it's an anime. And I, I'm in love with the character. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I made him. 
I found the Pinterest, I mean the Pinterest, what the hell? I found the freaking pattern on Google. I just Googled Seto Kaiwa Pixel Art and it's like one of the first ones that pop ever popped up. And I just made it. I automatically knew how to start the wall hanging. I didn't need to use a tutorial or anything like that. I automatically in my brain just knew how to start it off. So that's what I did. I went to the Walmart, bought the dowels and so forth, so forth. And yeah, that's the first wall hanging I ever made. It took me about, I believe, a couple of days because I had, at that time I was working. So work, just like how work consumed me back then, work is consuming me now. So my shift back then was 1 to 10. It's still 1 to 10 now currently. So basically, that's the reason why I struggled to finish it. So, and this is the re that it's the same exact reason why I'm struggling to finish this one actually because I have no time to do it. Anyways, um, I that's the first wall hang I ever did. The largest wall hang I ever did was Ryuk from the anime called Death Note, and that one took me about three weeks. And you want to know why? Because I had to, st I basically started it. The first half of the wall hanging was one complete week to do. And then I had to stop for a whole week because I had an order for somebody and she requested a wall hanging as well. And you know, wall hangings be taking forever, girl. So, and she requested, I believe it was Luffy from the anime called One Piece. So I had to do that for her. And then I, I picked up after I finished her piece i picked up and i did the rest of ryuk on the third week and yeah and i finished him and i actually didn't even finish him to be honest with you i had a few more to go like i had about i would say like a whole piece to go but i'm like i'm tired of doing this pattern i'm bored of it i got bored of it i love him because he's on my wall right now but I got bored because I wanted to move on to something else. And it was taking up a lot of my time. And I wanted to finish him by October 31st because he was October scary inspired. And that's the reason why. So yeah. But other than that, he's my largest piece. And I believe somebody wanted to buy him off of me. But I refused to sell it because I feel like the person was BSing. And they said that they were willing to pay whatever. But I didn't believe them. And my most proudest piece was Itachi Uchiha from the anime called Naruto. And I still have him, actually. And I refused to sell him. I wanted to sell him on Etsy. And you know what's so messed up? Etsy did not. I put a listing on Etsy, but then Etsy was like, oh, you can't do it because copyright, blah, 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 whatever. But it's so crazy how I go on Etsy right now and I put in Naruto and a bunch of Naruto stuff pops up. So I don't understand why mine got taken down when I literally handmade it with my bare hands. But everybody else is like printing out Naruto pictures and stuff and they can just use it and sell it. So like I just couldn't, I literally don't understand why. And I made this thread on Etsy asking like why is my stuff getting copyright claimed but not anybody else. And they were like oh it's because you got caught. But how can I get caught when I'm not even like out there like that. But everybody else is like fully blown out there and they never got caught. Like I guess I got caught quote unquote caught like whatever. I was literally mad about it. I deleted the whole thread and I did some petty crap that I refused to talk about, but I wish I could, but you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. But anyways, yeah, so I refused to like post anything, character, anime, whatever, Disney, blah, blah, blah on Etsy because of that reason. So yeah, since Etsy wants to act like that, whatever. Um, anyways... But you know what's so crazy? I would always post Disney crap on Etsy and like they never said crap. It's just like my anime stuff I can't even post on there. It's so crazy. I can't even post Red Clouds from the Akatsuki because it's Naruto related. Girl, Red Clouds like could be anything but whatever. And you know what? Someone did buy it before stupid Etsy copyright claimed it. But yeah, so that's that. And yeah, the straight edges, I don't like the straight edges. Personally, I don't like them. I like to see other people's work on the straight edges, but I don't like them to do it myself because I feel like I can't do it as good as everybody else can. So I just stick to the basic edges, the squiggly, bumpy edges, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so yeah, I just stick to that, to the norm. And I like the norm. It looks nice. 
but i do like the flat alpha technique the first time i ever seen it was from this girl named milko on instagram she's b-o-m-b she's bomb she's amazing i honestly she doesn't even i don't think she even knows who i am but i know her and i think she's cool so that's where i learned how to do the alpha flat alpha technique and yeah so i feel like over the years years yeah years couple years i've been getting better at making my alphas more straighter even though they have the bumpy edges but they're still straight so um if you don't follow me on instagram it's at by rainy and did i mention that did i mention that i don't know if i mentioned it so yeah anyways um i am planning on making my next wall hanging i actually want it to be anime related but i'm trying to keep up with the easter stuff so i don't know what i should do i really don't know so i use this little cricket thing that i have for my cricket and i just scoop my knots up and make sure that they're straight and right here i'm just moving on to the next row and i'm counting the squares and all that because i want to make sure and i don't want to mess up even though i know 100 percent for a fact i'm gonna mess up but that's what i normally do all the time so I am doing Easter stuff next, like I just mentioned, and I kind of want to do a video on me printing out my Easter patterns and me starting my Easter projects. I have a lot of ideas in mind. Every day I come up with different ideas. You know what time it is right now? It's 3.28 a.m. in the morning. I'm doing this voiceover because as soon as I get off work, I don't want to go to bed. I just want to stay up and do whatever I want. And this is my only alone time I have, so work definitely messes me up thank god i'm off tomorrow so today is like saturday so basically at 12 a.m it turns you know the next day so yeah i mean obviously like who doesn't know that but today is saturday and tomorrow i'm off so i have to work later today and i'm over here awake at almost four in the morning it's oh my gosh i don't know what's wrong with me but I just really want to like do this voiceover and I feel like this is a great time to do it because I know tomorrow I'm not going to have time to do it because as soon as I wake up, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to make breakfast, I have to, ugh, it's so aggravating, it's ridiculous. But anyways, um, yeah, like I was saying, my Easter projects are definitely coming up next. I kind of wanted to do anime related stuff, but I don't know. I just don't know what to do. And you know what I always wondered? Does every country celebrate Easter? Or am I just slow and I don't know what I'm talking about? But I only ever been out of the country one time. And it was to Guatemala. So my mom is from Guatemala. And we went to supposed vacation in 2009 there for two months. And I literally, a girl, I almost died out there. I promise. It was such a life-changing experience for me. Um it opened my eyes up to a different world and i can honestly say that it's not meant for everybody and i definitely was not built for that because oh my gosh i just know my mom she my grandma like she had no like stove or fridge it was crazy not a vacation it was like more of a survival thing i learned how to do fire like it was so insane but I appreciate the experience because, you know, like, I appreciate just how it changed my way of seeing life and not everybody's fortunate enough to have certain things, stuff like that. But anyways, that was the only time I went out of the country and that was back in 2009. We're in 2022. That was a long time ago. And I will never forget it. And I honestly would love to go again, but not to do like a whole survival thing for two months i would prefer to just go on vacation for a week but yeah anyways that is just something that i wanted to mention and you know what i also wanted to talk about how everybody drug me in my chevron friendship bracelet tutorial the comments are literally insane i got so many comments saying are you dead inside are you depressed this this and that which doesn't hurt me that they left those negative comments but 
it's just so crazy like did i really sound like that do i still sound the same i don't i would never watch that video ever again because as soon as i upload all these videos on youtube i delete the entire footage and act like it never existed seriously um i kind of want to invest in a camera but i don't know because i feel like it's not necessary even though i buy the dumbest crap ever online for those who know me know me and i literally buy things online every single day i have packages coming in and out of my apartment i mail things i ship out stuff i'm always receiving stuff i buy stuff off amazon i buy anything that i see that i like or stuff that i just want and i just buy it like impulsively oh yeah okay okay so see the video right now um i messed up i don't know why because i'm i don't know what's wrong with me so i use this tool for my cricket and i pull the bass strings out this is what i do every single time i mess up i find this method really fast and easier versus like taking one knot out like you know one knot and one knot and one like girl bye i'm not doing that so this is what i do and bam it's super quick easy fast and way better than just taking out one by one i'm not doing that so yeah that's my method um the cricket thing i bought it in a pack but i bought it um the pack i actually bought at walmart i buy everything on walmart but anyways so yeah um what were they saying what was they saying oh yeah the whole video wait i don't even know what i was talking about but yeah oh yeah like i just buy dumb crap there you go that's what i was talking about um i just buy the dumbest crap and like i don't know if you guys watch my other video there's one video i was talking about the usps story where i spent like two three hundred dollars on yarn and i wasted like 150 dollars because one of my packages got lost and i just reordered the yarn and i actually want to buy more yarn i really really want to buy more yarn from one of my i don't know if she's my friend because i never met her but she's a lady from etsy and she sells a bunch of yarn and i just buy all my yarn from her her yarn is amazing i love her yarn and the reason i only know about that yarn is because of all the f people i follow on my instagram i see their yarn i'm like girl i want that yarn and i go look for it and i just buy it and i need all the colors even though i never use the yarn but yeah pretty much um but i i usually just buy like black and white do a black and white project if i like it i'll buy the rest of it but he, that's the only like way i would buy it so right here i ended up cutting the clip off because my natural light was going away so this was on friday so this is saturday now you had you can tell right so this is saturday this was yesterday not saturday what the hell am i talking about this was friday yesterday my bad the other day was thursday so this is friday so this was yesterday today's saturday so i have to work later today but this was yesterday before i went to work and i already started on the block because i knew like for a fact that i wasn't going to finish before i went to work but i knew if i did some in advance i was going to be able to at least finish it but i wasn't sure if i was going to so yeah this is me at eight in the morning already like hurrying up and as soon as I got up, I'm like, okay, I have to finish this this wall hanging because I really want to, um, you know, finish it for Monday so I can post it for Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is Monday, even though I know I'm probably not going to get crap for Valentine's Day because my husband is not like the type to buy me stuff because he buys me stuff whenever i want and whenever i ask him to buy me stuff so pretty much that's why even though i'm more of the type to get stuff for occasions he doesn't really get stuff for occasions he just if i tell him tomorrow like hey i want this he'll just be like okay and then just give me the money <laughs> but yeah so um i just do it for my feed and i just do it to keep up with like seasonal stuff even though I'm trying to bounce back into anime because I haven't ma made an anime piece since October, I believe. Yeah, because the last wall hanging I ever did with um, an anime piece was Ryuk. And that was that. And I never did anything after that. I started doing like seasonal stuff. But seasonal stuff is really 
cute to do because it just makes your feed look nicer and you keep up with the seasons but i don't know if i really want to keep up with the seasons anymore i might do a couple easter things and then just stop and do anime stuff afterwards because i really want to do a bunch of characters from different animes i don't know i don't know what i want to do but if you're ever interested in me making an anime piece i can definitely do that it's just i can't sell it on etsy because they don't allow me to so we would have to find another way to do that but definitely i had this one girl she ordered two anime pieces for me and she paid me on cash app because that was her method payment but i can do zelle or whatever and her pieces were so bad like in a good way bad like they were sick i love them i actually wanted to keep them for myself but obviously i can't because she already paid for them but yeah i did sasuke and Luffy, and they were freaking amazing but um yeah so this is a little elephant you can already see him coming to life he's so cute i actually love this one he's so adorable everything about it was so cute i honestly did not have hope in it because i didn't have faith in this wall hanging at all because of the heart but as soon as i realized it it's so cute i cut up all the stuff at the in the back of the wall hanging and then i start doing the ends so i started doing the ends so quick so it's already like 12 40 at this point and i have to be at work at one so i literally only have like 10 minutes to do this and i finished up not even it was like five minutes i was trying to hurry up and do this for like within the five minutes i even opened the blinds up because it was kind of dark and look at my ass just trying to hurry up oh my gosh so ridiculous but anyways yeah i kind of want to redo my chevron tutorial that i mentioned that i think i did sorry it's almost four in the morning and i just don't know what i'm talking about and i'm actually gonna go to bed as soon as i stop doing this voiceover and i'm gonna take the rest of the video tomorrow and upload this tomorrow i had to listen to my voiceover because sometimes i just don't like things that i say and i have to redo it so i don't know why i'm like that but i'm just like that and i can already hear my voice getting like sleepy but yeah um the way i end my wall hanging i actually have a video on that and i feel like i didn't even get into full detail in that video and i really want to remake that video so i should definitely remake it soon because i feel like i just didn't get into full detail but i honestly don't remember so yeah so here she is and she's cute i love her already she's so adorable so i'm basically done right here i literally just woke up today is officially saturday so i'm just gonna do this really quick and i'm gonna finish this off hold on i kind of don't like how it looks like this like sideways you see that i don't like it but and this right here i did it yesterday but i'm looking at it right now i'm like ew, it looks kind of ugly that i did it like that but i'm not about to undo all of it so i'm just gonna leave it like that i mean it doesn't look that bad but i feel like i could have made it look a little better but i don't want to do all that okay so i'm gonna sure grab a piece of tape because i can't do it like this <laughs> I've been trying to stay on top of all my videos for YouTube and I just feel as if I want to keep uploading and uploading and uploading and uploading. Like that's all I want to do right now. And I feel like taking the footage, especially when I'm making something like this, it takes forever. But it's worth it because it just looks so cool when you're done with it. But yeah, so pretty much. This is what I do to like end it off. And I just like tighten this up. And then I grab the scissors and I'm going to cut it right now. So I don't want to cut it too, too short. Like up here, it'll know. So I cut it usually like about right here. I feel like it looks good like that. So then there. And this is the scraps that I know I'm never going to use ever again in my entire life and i'm gonna throw it away so i'm gonna do that and i take this off because i just need it for that moment and this is how it looks she's officially done 
she looks amazing so like the next thing i do is glue this down i actually put tape here and i'm gonna glue these both down with some super glue that i don't even like actually use the glue i just put like a little dab and i smear it with my finger and i risk having my finger have the disgusting glue on my finger but other than that that's what i do and now it's time to put the little stringy thingy so i'm just going to use this one because it's just laying there and i feel like i want to use it so i basically just fold it in half this is what i normally do i've seen people do like some cool like when they put this right here they do like some cool stuff and i just i don't have time for all that <laughs> i don't have time for all that so this is basically what i do and I do it as if I'm actually starting a wall hanging. And I just go like this. And I pull this like right here. And then um, I know it like doesn't match, but girl, I don't care. <laughs> so then I just go like this on this side, like this. And then I just go like this a few times. I don't know, wait, I feel like it's not gonna work like that. So I just go like this, probably. And then I just go like this. And then I just grab it like this. And I do like a regular knot like that. I know it's not that cute, but that's what I do with all my wall hangings. Yeah, and that's it. That's pretty much what I do all the time. And I just try to scoot this right here. I feel like it just looks so ugly. I feel like I can do better, but I just don't know. And then there. And there she is, just like that. So I'm going to cut this right here. Oh, yeah, I cut this off. So I just cut it, like, right here. And that's basically all I ever do. So, and, and yeah, and then I'll hang it up on the little wall or something. She's kind of bent right now because I squished her, but she's okay. So, yeah, there you go. The wall hanging is completed. And then I'm just going to grab the glue and I'll show you guys how to do that. How I do that, I mean. So, where is my glue at? Okay, she's all the way down here. So I'm just going to open it. I really need new glue because I feel like the air got into this one and it just, it's not like normal sticky anymore. It's just like weird. It's like really lumpy. You see that? It's just like so, it's so weird. And talking about that, I'm going to get rid of this today and do, I'm going to get some more because uh-uh. So I'm just going to dab it a little bit like this and then I bas basically just smear it like this. Because if I leave it like that, it's going to get like rock hard. And I don't like it. When I smear it, it just gives it a better feeling to it. So this part right here, I'm going to just take it off eventually. And yeah. This glue is bad, actually. It's not even good anymore. It does look, it's like completely stuck. I don't know what happened to it. I feel like I left it open and the air got into it. I don't know. So pretty much that's it and it dries quickly and it stays like that forever and you can't even tell there's glue on there seriously so that's what i do for that part and i just hang it up so for example let me take this camera off really quick she'll look like this this is what she'll look like there she is right there. It's so cute. And I just fluff this up right here sometimes. And yeah.